Hi guys. So as you can see, I have got a lot of stuff in this pile right here. So let's dive in. Today, we are going to be doing a plan with me for the week of January 14th through January 20th. So the first thing that I do when I'm getting ready to plan out my week is I get my Erin Condren weekly schedule pad. I really love this pad. I think it's $20, but it really is helpful when it comes to pre-planning and getting your week set out. So this is the week that we're going to be planning, and I've got everything written out that I can think of right now. So I'm just going to set that aside so that I can um, use that as we're planning along. I've got my stickers, I've got my planner, I've got my pen, and I've got my little straight edge for um, tearing the washi. So we're ready to get started. So as you all know, unless you're new to my channel, I use an Erin Condren life planner in the hourly layout. Now I have used happy planners in the past and I actually do have a happy planner mini right now that I'm using, but I've used the vertical layout in the happy planner classic size and the big. Um, and once I switched to the hourly, I absolutely love it. It's just been really helpful in keeping things organized and uh, I've seen a lot of people white out the hours that they don't need to use. So if that's something that um, you think might work for you, then feel free to try that. Um, if in the, just the notes box for my video, you'll see um, there's a link that you can click on. If you're new to Erin Condren, you can set up a new Erin Condren account and a $10 coupon will be mailed to you. And I get a coupon as well, so it helps out both of us and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you think you might wanna try out an Erin Condren planner then, or any other things that Erin Condren offers, then please feel free to do that and I'd really appreciate it. So I'm trying to decide what kind of washi that I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one, oops, right here. So there's a couple things. These stickers that I'm using are from Planner Cake, which is no surprise to anyone if you've been here for any length of time. Um, one of the things I like about Planner Cake stickers is that they are removable and they tear really easily. There it is. So let me show you how easily they tear. Done. Look how easy that was. So let me go ahead and put my washi on this side as well. Sometimes it takes a minute for me to line it up. This little um, straight edge that I'm using to tear the washi is just a bookmark from Erin Condren. Um, you can also use the clear ruler that comes in your Erin Condren life planner and that would be totally fine as well. So next let's go ahead and do our date covers. Some people ask me why do you use the date covers so let me show you. This is the colorful life planner. So you can see that January's color See if I can. Yep, is this dark green right here, which is fine. And in this kit, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't look terrible at all. But what if I decided I wanted to use this kit in February and February's color is pink? Well, it wouldn't be all matchy matchy. So for consistency's sake, I just typically order the date covers. You can get the date covers as an add on from Planner Kate. I think they're like $1.50. So. To me, it's not really that big of a, an expense to go ahead and order them. So she, on Planner Kate, changed her date covers, or yeah, her date covers in her January kits. Um, so the actual, sorry about that, I just hit my, my camera. Um, anyways, the shape of the actual dates is different it's it's a little larger and i really like them much better it was definitely a, a good change that she made so i'm going to stick these dates down and i'll speed up the video <laughs> are down. 
The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put down my weekend sticker. Now I usually just use a piece of this leftover thick washi, which I didn't in this one right here. But I'm not going to do that this time. I don't. Well, let's see. Maybe I will. I'm going to put... A lot of people put the thin washi right here under the 6 a.m. spot, but I actually need that 6 a.m. spot. So, and I don't hardly ever have anything scheduled at 7, so I'm going to put it right there. I will only need that 6 a.m. spot for a few more weeks till the end of January, I guess. And then um, the one hockey team that my son plays for will be finished. So he will not have any 6 a.m. practices. So then I can change the setup of my planner a little bit. And that might be kind of fun. Just a little bit of a change in my weekly layouts. So I'm going to use this thick washi for the weekend, I think. That's kind of fun. And I'm going to put this one up here because Lord help me if I have to do anything at 6 a.m. on a weekend, which has happened lots of times. Um, we've spent many 6 a.m.s on a Saturday at a hockey rink, but fortunately for right now, we don't have to do that. Actually, I don't know if I like that right up there because of the way it falls against this thin washing. So, let me move it down. Yeah, I think that's fine. That looks a little better, maybe. And then I will put my weekend sticker kind of offset a little bit. Oh, no, I don't like that. Thank goodness for Planner Kate removable stickers, I'm telling you. Let's see if this looks better back up here. Okay, I'm just going to go with it. That's fine. Let's just leave it just like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is my sidebar. Which, where did I put it? Okay, so let's see. This was my sidebar from last week, so I'm just trying to decide... Let's put my habit tracker on the bottom this time. Which, of course, that's not straight. Oh dear, I'm filming early in the morning because my kids have all been home and it's just been noisy and difficult to try and find a time to plan or to, to film during the day. So I'm filming early in the morning before everybody wakes up, and I hope that this is not a premonition of what the day is going to look like, since I cannot lay a straight sticker to save my life. So let's put this one next. I've been using this sticker um, to track my daily steps, which I actually really like that. It's, a, it's working out nicely. I'm not sure what I want to start doing with these ombre boxes. I typically would just stick it right here, and I might do that this week, but I think I want to start ordering the extra ombre boxes to put them all across my weekly layouts. I'm just going to go ahead and put this one right here, I think, because I don't have them right now, but we'll see. It's something I'm, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's put this right here. I've said this before. I wish that Planet Kate just did her, her, um, 
outside part and one big sticker. It would be so much easier to lay out. However, I guess then we would complain that we didn't have any customizable options, wouldn't we? <laughs> so it's probably good that she doesn't. And then let's see if this works. Nope, yep, that's going to cover that up. So I think I can. Yep, there we go. That works fine. And then I didn't even need to pull this off. I could have just left it right where I had already stuck it. Okay, sidebar is finished. Let's do that. All right, let's think about what I need to do now. So Monday and Tuesday, we are going to be out of town for a trip. So the kids have some activities that they're going to miss, but my husband is home this week. He did get his new snow machine finally that he ordered in April, and it just finally came in. So, and my, you, you guys know that my oldest daughter is home from college still. So we are going to go on a snow machine trip. Today is Saturday. It is currently about 42 below zero. However, my husband assures me that it is going to warm up considerably by Monday when we're intending to leave. So it's supposed to be, I think, zero, which is fine. We can handle zero degrees, but we will not go if it is, well, probably 20 below or colder. We will not go. So there's that. So what I'm going to do now is add my meal planning stickers. These are my favorite. I love these. These are S18 if you're interested in ordering them from Planner Kate yourself. Oh, darn, that one. Let's see. Okay. So if you order from Planner Kate, don't forget the Happy Place 20 um, discount coupon that you can use. It will save you 20%, which who doesn't like to save money and you can order a little bit more stickers that way that's how I look at it I need to just start ordering um, maybe like duplicate sheets so maybe like you know a couple sheets of ones that I know I'm gonna use a lot so there's my meal planning um, I'm gonna add this coffee for Wednesday morning because my husband and I are going to go have a coffee meeting somewhere to have a little chit chat about some things that we need to talk about for the new year. Um, let's see. So I'm referencing my weekly planner now as I lay these or my, not my weekly planner. You guys know what I mean. My weekly schedule pad as I lay these stickers out. So he does have a doctor appointment on this day, but I'm not gonna use that, I guess, because I don't like that red. So let's just put this little, the doctor icon. If I could get it centered. Lord help me. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'll fix it later. So I know he has that at 9.30. My daughter has her jump rope. I'm gonna use these mini ones for this. This is for her jump rope, which 
I'm betting we will not be able to go. So last week, actually on Friday, my son was supposed to have a hockey game in a town that's about 100 miles away. And they play in an outdoor rink at that, in that town. And it was like 30 something below zero. So they rescheduled that game for Wednesday. So now it kind of, whenever they reschedule something like that, it kind of messes me up a little bit. The other thing it messes up is my husband should be going back to work this night. So he takes a bus to where he works um, because it's a camp job. You can't drive your own cars in there. So they send a bus. I just drop him off at our local grocery store and then um, he catches the bus to work. So he can do that either, I can't remember what time it is on Wednesdays, early evening, or he can catch a bus at like 2.30 in the morning on Thursday and then go right to work when he gets there at 5.30, which is how he's always done it in the past for the most part, except he doesn't get any sleep. Sometimes he'll try and go to bed at like eight o'clock and then he can sleep until two and then get up and we'll go catch the bus. But that is not going to happen this day if he wants to watch that hockey game, which I know he will not want to miss that. So there's, there's not really any good options for him there. Uh, Wednesday is going to be my busiest day this week. One of my, my middle daughter has a doctor appointment that I need to go with her at noon. My husband's doctor appointment. So I think that takes care of Wednesday. So I am going to just go ahead and lay out these stickers for the rest of the week and I'm going to speed that up so that you guys don't have to um, watch for so long to see the completed layout. <music>
everything out. Um, I use these as just checklist boxes. So like this particular one will probably be used. Um, oh, I'll probably list like things that we have to pack or things that I have to do in order to prep for our trip. Um, we're going to go to Telavana Hot Springs, which is a remote um, hot springs. I think it's only about a 10 mile snow machine ride, but we do have to drive a hundred miles on a remote road to get there. Um, and we're going to stay in a remote cabin that has a wood stove and um, I'm not sure exactly what else that the cabin has. I need to check that out and figure out what food we're going to eat while we're there. Thankfully it's just one night so it's not too bad. Um, and then this honestly will probably be a housework checklist and then I might do some crafting on this day so that's what that will be. But I won't fill those out until um, later on in the week. Now, I talked to you guys about wanting to use the ombre boxes, like maybe across my planner um, in, at the same time slot, but I'm kind of struggling with that because, as you can see, we use morning time, we use evening time. Um, I don't really have a, an empty spot, although I guess I don't need to be tied to the actual hours on the planner because sometimes I'm not here because I have more than one thing that goes on at the same time. So I just overlap them. So I'm going to think about that a little bit more and maybe I'll try that. And if you guys have done that with the ombre boxes, then just let me know, you know, if you have any tips or what you've done to make that work for you, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill out each of these boxes so I know what they are. So I will speed you guys through that as well. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all that I need to do. I am ready for the week. Now as, oh, I forgot this one. Look at that. That one is just church. So as I remember things that I have to do this week, or as new appointments come up, I'll just be able to add them in. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you are new here, then please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell notification too so that you can be notified when I upload new content. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And thanks so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. Bye guys.